I, basically, there's a friend of mine who spun uh, at, at house parties and at, at smaller parties. Then I started noticing this whole other thing happening in the back rooms of the big parties. In side rooms, it was always the crappy sound system and the worst turntables. The first time I heard it, it was really a, kind of a departure from the electronic music I had heard in the past. You know, he was, he was playing this music and it was just like, it was total alien, alien to me. It was just like, what is it? And uh, he played drum and bass. Drum and bass. The drum and bass. And I got sidetracked one night and uh, I went in there and just listened to an entire set of it and was completely blown away and immediately started going out and buying, you know, drum and bass records and things like that. I would say out of all electronic musics, uh, drum and bass was definitely held closest uh, to the hearts of, of the UK scene. Originally an offshoot of the UK breakbeat hardcore and rave scene, it came into existence when DJs and producers mixed reggae bass lines with sped up breakbeats, predominantly sampled from 70s funk and hip hop records. Going to London in 2000 and 2000 and 2001 was just like the mecca. I mean, I had to go to the motherland and see what it was all about. It was a totally different vibe over there, and uh, it made me understand a lot better what, what the whole vibe is about. I would say as far as U.S. drum and bass, um, it really kind of seeded in three cities uh, when it came over to the U.S. That would be uh, New York, L.A., and the Central Florida area. Mainly in, uh, in Miami. I think Orlando is, is uh, I think it's important in the American scene. I mean, not only is it the home of AK-1200, but at the time, uh, it seems like between here and Miami, quite a few producers have started to pop up over time. Four years ago, the second home of drum and bass would have been Germany, but now it's, it's America. Everybody comes here now. <laughs> You know, you've got the dons of U.S. drum and bass. AK-1200. Dara. Diesel Boy. And they're all magnificent DJs, so they work very well with each other. Um, by themselves, they rock a crowd. <laughs> I've been in drum and bass for about, uh, i say about 10 years now, since about 1994. 1995? Now that I think about it, it was before I was 18 because I, I, would, I still wasn't old enough to get in and I would remember going in there with my friends from high school and, and trying to sneak into the back and everything, so it was a whole adventure, if you will. It was like, you know, a we roll. <laughs> Just keep on coming down.